In this video we'll talk about how you can use HTML reporting in a mobile application. So you can see here we're uh, running a UX component in the mobile simulator and uh, we have a panel card here that has two buttons and uh, when I click on the first button uh, we switch to a second panel card inside this panel navigator and we display the uh, customer report. Now since this is a carousel I can swipe on it and go back back to the original um, uh, panel card and now I can click on this button over here and then this displays the uh, vendor report. So you can see here that we've got a uh, panel card with a series of buttons. Each button um, is designed to display a different report and then when I click on the report uh, we give focus to the panel card and the report is rendered in the panel card and since the report in this particular case is bigger than a single screen we've got uh, full momentum scrolling to uh, view uh, and scroll through the report. So let's go back to the builder now and see how this was done. So switching back to the builder you can see here we have our first panel card and inside this panel card we have a header uh, which contains the text over there that says HTML reporting and then we have our two buttons over there for the customer report and the vendor report. Then we have a second panel card and this panel card has nothing in it and these two panel cards are wrapped inside a panel navigator so that's how we can switch from one panel to the next panel with a swipe um, with a swipe gesture. So now let's take a look at these two buttons that actually display the uh, customer and vendor report. So we'll go first to the uh, customer report here and we can see that it's a standard action script um, event and uh, we're printing um, a report, the customer summary list report. We've chosen our initial view as HTML. We've turned off all of the different uh, buttons over here. But here's the important part. We've set the target for this um, report to be a panel. So there are a number of options for the target and uh, uh, most often people tend to choose uh, window or div uh, but there's tabbed UI pane and now a new option here called panel so we specified that we'd like this report to show up in a panel and then we just chose the target panel as being panel number two. So uh, we could also customize the working message over there which uh, is displayed uh, after the panel 2 gets focused but before the report it's, has actually rendered. So now let's go and take a look at the second button and we can see that this is defined in exactly the same way. We've just chosen the vendor uh, list report, we've set our initial HTML, our initial view to HTML and again we've chosen the target panel as uh, panel card number 2. So let's go back now and take a look at it again. So here we go, uh, click on the button, that brings focus to the second panel card. Here's our report, but by swiping uh, uh, to the right we can bring the initial panel card uh, into view. Of course, if we preferred, we could put a uh, button inside this uh, header over here and have the button go back to the um, initial menu over there. But using uh, HTML reporting in um, mobile applications as you can see here is extremely easy all that you need to do is set the target uh, for the report to be a panel thank you very much for watching